Okay, I'm making this carrier in the back of my uh, car specifically for using at uh, the Total Solar Eclipse coming up in this, this August. And I wanted something heavy duty that I could uh, carry some extra stuff in it, equipment uh, on the outside. And um, so I designed this thing and I'll, in the following video will show you what I've done. Okay, and here's the completed project at the shop, and I put a little flag on the back so I can get it home. Okay, I've located where I'm going to put these uh, D-rings, these heavy-duty D-rings that I got on the uh, carrier, and that's going to allow me to run a strap back to the hitch so I can kind of tie this whole unit to the hitch of the car and make it more solid. So these, this is what I ended up getting from Tractor Supply. So those should be more than enough for what I'm going to be doing. Next I'm locating on the back side of this uh, carrier unit for this 48 inch uh, snow blade marker. I'm going to put that on the back so people can see it. It will also allow me to see it in my rear view win window to remind me that I have this on the back. So this has a one inch spacing so I've located it on my uh, part here on the carrier and right here is where I'm going to drill the two holes then. So this is what I'm going to use to strap the carrier to the uh, hitch of my car to give it a more solid, it'll be anchored right to the vehicle and not uh, give it a chance to be flopping around. And as you can see, looking in my rear view mirror, I can clearly see those orange markers so that uh, alerts me that I have something on the back of the vehicle, just as a reminder, so you don't get lax and, and forget about it. So here's the view in my reverse camera. You can clearly see the uh, carrier unit and the orange markers. Alrighty, here's the completed unit attached, and uh, it's very heavy. The uh, frame is made of 3x3 three three inch angle iron, 3 six, three sixteenths inch thick. The tubing, the square tube that goes into the receiver of the hitch is the standard 2x2 two two inch tubing, and it's quarter inch thick. So that, that's heavy in itself. And then uh, I've reinforced the corners of the... Uh, the square there of the frame with the same three by three inch angle iron to give it uh, to reinforce those corners and make them stronger. So there's the reinforcing in the corners. 
Let's cut that two inches wide and then put that in the corner, welded it up to give some strength into those corners. question you'll have is well how do you carry anything in here because of the fact that it's all open there it's a skeleton basically so I uh, decided this is the way I wanted to do it and I would make inserts so I could custom make a carrier if I wanted to haul my big heavy-duty 12 inch tripod for my telescope I can make a cradle for it stick it in the back here and uh, you know whatever else I might want so we're gonna make a general one here today and it's basically going to be two by six and half inch womanized plywood. It'll set down in there and uh, then I'll just strap it to the unit and then I'll have hooks and stuff inside the uh, insert that uh, will anchor whatever I want to carry with me. The corners that I'm using for this insert are eight by inch and a quarter by three sixteenths thick and they're extremely heavy duty. Here's the insert, ready to put uh, whatever I want inside there. So now all I've got to do is paint the uh, carrier. I'm either thinking about orange or yellow, possibly yellow. And then I'm still going to put uh, those reflective uh, stick uh, tape on there that you see on the side of semi-trailers. It's very reflective. I'm going to put that around it. And uh, I live in the state of Ohio. I called the uh, state uh, troopers and uh, the guy told me as long as it doesn't stick past four foot past your bumper, you don't need lights. And then I told him what I was going to be doing anyways. He said, yeah, I said, that's more than most people do. So I'm still under, I'm under 48 inches, so I'm okay. I don't have to put any lights on it. And, uh, but like I said, by putting those orange post markers and then putting uh, the reflective tape around the back and sides of the unit, uh, should be easily seen. I'd like to thank my buddy John, Johnny, who uh, did the welding for me, did a great job, really like it.